nation's highest court takes up a freedom of speech case involving a former high school cheerleader and a local school district. The arguments in the nation's capital are top story on Newswatch 16 at 5. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm John Meyer and I'm Julie Sedoni. The case of the former Monoy area high school cheerleader who was suspended from the team for an expletive filled post on Snapchat reached the U.S. Supreme Court today. And as Newswatch 16's Marshall Keeley explains, the case comes down to one question. Can schools punish students for what they say outside school grounds, even if it is online? In 2017, then Mahanoy Area High School cheerleader Brandy Levy was upset she had not been moved from JV to the varsity squad. She posted on her personal story on Snapchat from a public gas station one weekend with her middle finger up and the caption, F school, F softball, F cheer, F everything. Someone saved that post and showed it to her coach, who promptly suspended Levy from the team for a year. But was that a violation of Levy's First Amendment rights? The issue has now reached the nation's highest court. The Supreme Court's decision in Tinker versus Des Moines said students' rights were limited on school grounds to help schools prevent conflicts. But Justice Stephen Breyer did not seem to think that criteria was met in Levy's case. Did that cause a material and substantial disruption? I don't see much evidence it did. And if swearing off campus did, I mean, my goodness, every school in the country would be doing nothing but punishing. Mahanoy Area School District's lawyers suggested posts to social media could still cause disruption in school, even if they were not posted on school property. They maintained that the district was within its rights because Levy was talking about the school. All of a sudden it mattered if she'd sent it from the school parking lot, and all of a sudden the school could look at it and apply tinker, but the fact she sent it at the Cocoa Hut shouldn't matter into the analysis. But Levy's representation from the ACLU challenged that notion, saying the district only has authority in school-supervised settings. In school, you can apply tinker. Out of school, you can't. What does that mean? It means you can't punish out-of-school speech because listeners in school might be disrupted by the message. Justice Sonia Sotomayor questioned the intent behind Levy's post, saying these days social media is a common way for teens to connect with friends, pointing out this post was temporary. How is the nature of this speech such that it intends to provoke disrespect when she put it to a page that was supposed to disappear? She could do the same thing to a thousand people and say, oops, it disappeared. Both sides agree harassment, bullying, and organized cheating outside of school should not be protected, but they differ on where to draw the line. You can choose to either tighten Tinker, or you can say, well, we're going to assume Tinker's out of control on campus, but we will leave open season on schools and complete chaos as to what their test allows. But for young people, the ability to voice their emotions to friends without fear of school censorship may be the most important freedom of all. The Supreme Court is expected to hand down a decision by the end of June. Marshall Keeley, Newswatch 16, Schuylkill County.